Navigating Silence, Big Guide to Handling Ignorance and Ghosting. Welcome to today's video where we'll be discussing a challenging topic that many of us have faced, being ignored or ghosted by someone. It's a situation that can be emotionally draining, but today we'll focus on how to handle it with grace and resilience. We'll emphasize the importance of not begging or asking why, and instead, address the observed behavior without delving into the accompanying emotions. Number one, understanding the situation. Before we dive into specific strategies, it's crucial to cultivate an understanding of the situation. Recognize that being ignored or ghosted might not necessarily be a reflection of your worth or actions. People have their reasons, and it's essential not to internalize the situation. Remember, it's not always about you. Instead of approaching the person with accusatory questions like, why are you ignoring me? Consider a more open and empathetic approach. You could say something like, I've noticed a change in our communication. Is everything okay on your end? This allows the other person to share without feeling attacked. Number two, refrain from begging. One of the most common pitfalls in such situations is the temptation to beg for attention or an explanation. Understand that begging not only undermines your self-respect, but can also create discomfort for the other person. It's essential to maintain your dignity and approach the situation with grace. Instead of sending messages like, please talk to me, I need to know what's going on. Consider a more composed approach. Say something like, I've noticed a shift in our communication. If there's something you'd like to discuss, I'm open to talking about it. This communicates your openness to dialogue without pleading for attention. Number three, addressing the behavior when faced with silence. It's crucial to address the observed behavior rather than expressing your emotions. By focusing on the facts, you create a space for open communication without becoming confrontational. Instead of emotionally charged statements like, I feel hurt and abandoned, opt for a more objective approach. Say, I've noticed a lack of communication lately. Is there something specific on your mind that we should talk about? This encourages a discussion without placing blame. Number four, setting boundaries. Establishing clear boundaries is essential in such situations. Repeatedly attempting to re-engage without reciprocation may not be healthy for your well-being. It's important to communicate your willingness to talk while also respecting the other person's need for space. Instead of persistently messaging with, why won't you talk to me? Consider setting a boundary. Say, I respect your need for space. If and when you're ready to talk, I'll be here. This shows maturity and gives the other person the freedom to approach the conversation at their own pace. Number five, focusing on self-care. Being ignored can have a significant impact on your mental health. It's essential to shift your focus towards self-care activities that bring you joy and fulfillment. This not only helps you navigate the emotional challenges but also promotes overall well-being. Instead of fixating on the situation, try a more self-compassionate approach. Say, I'm taking some time to focus on myself and my well-being. If you ever want to talk, I'm here. This communicates that you prioritize your mental health and are open to communication when the other person is ready. By implementing these nuanced approaches, you empower yourself to navigate the complexities of being ignored or ghosted with resilience and maturity. Conclusion. In conclusion, being ignored or ghosted is undoubtedly challenging, but it's essential to handle it with poise and respect. By addressing the observed behavior without delving into emotions and focusing on self-care, you empower yourself to navigate these situations with strength and resilience. Remember, you deserve healthy and communicative relationships. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video.